Okay, Bama Day, we're here. I'm uh, standing out in the middle of a drainage ditch uh, doing some summer beaver removal. Uh, not the ideal time, but I'm trying some things that uh, worked for me last year, and uh, that was using snares. So, uh, as you can see, I'm on the main, well, I'm below the main dam. I'm actually in the water. There's my helper over there. And they've got this uh, series of drainage ditches impounded. And so I've got a couple snares here. And this is something I saw Meat Trapper and some other guys do. So I'm giving it a try. I'm using vertical kill poles. So I've got my snares built. And I've got a donut, like Meat Trapper said, with some Beaver Plus on it. And I've got a couple of snares at uh, kind of 45 off each other. So hopefully um, one of these beavers will come by and uh, I want to sniff what's going on and get caught and go down the drowning rod and uh, hopefully not lose my drowning rod but uh, So we're gonna give this a try. It's, it's pretty out here once you get in it and the water's nice and warm Getting out might be a problem since I'm over my waders, but uh, you can see a bank down right there on the other side uh, This thing is chock chock full of them. So uh, Before I let the water out of here, I'm gonna try to get some with these snares So we'll come back to you in the morning. Hopefully we have some catches Okay, so there's a little bit better view of my set. I got two uh, snares there set out in the middle of this channel with a donut with some lure on it. And I used uh, some Formula One on those snares, really darkened them up. And I mean, I just built them a couple hours ago, dipped them twice, let it dry in the sun, it's about 100 degrees. So hopefully it got cured on there enough it won't wash off overnight. But they definitely look darker than if I would have done anything else. So they look pretty natural. And uh, hopefully the Beavers won't be any wiser to that, and we'll catch one. But they're all up in here. Well-maintained dam. Uh, we'll be letting the water out of here in a few days once we get a few of these out of here. So now I got to make my way back across this well-used spillway. I haven't set this. This doesn't hurt to be a little messy. And a little water trickling. That'll get their attention. Just a little bit, not enough to lower my snares, but just enough to get their attention. They'll come up here and check it out. And uh, now I gotta get back across there. And then I gotta dump my... Dump my waders out. And you can see one of my snares right up here where that stick is crossing over. A little choke point, I got a snare there. And I got another one further down, so. Hopefully, we'll have us a couple of beavers in the morning, I'm hoping. So, we'll come back to you then. Okay, well, it's uh, about 6.30 at night. Uh, we're out here working in this, uh, it's a peanut field. And you can see over here some collapsed bank dens. This, these uh, beavers have been out here a while. It's a series of drainage ditches that goes on for about over a mile. And the beavers are in here in force, and they've been coming up out of this water here and going up into the farmer's field and getting the uh, peanuts. Got my helper with me. And uh, so the beaver was out of here last night. You can see one of the peanut plants he pulled up right there. And uh, so there's a couple runs that go into this pond here so uh, I've got a couple of 330s uh, set on dives and you can see one here in the foreground and one going out so I'm trying to uh, using a series of snares and then some 330s I got a beaver yesterday on a 330 um, these are just blind sets uh, so he's coming up out of here so I'm just gonna try to catch him as he comes in not doing a whole lot of disguising just putting them in the in the run with a dive log and hopefully we catch uh, catch a beaver before we catch a turtle. That's the hazards of the this time of year. So, and I'm also gonna go put in some more snares on uh, kill poles. So I haven't done that before, but I've watched a lot of folks, uh, Meat Trapper and some of these other guys that do that. So I'm gonna give that a try. So we'll come back to you. Okay, so we just got this uh, beaver. He's a yearling uh, out of this set I have over here. Um, you can see he's got a pretty small tail on, so he was here last spring. So that's a sign that, uh, we'll get him out of here in a minute, but that's a sign that there's 
that probably two or three more of those little guys like that plus his mom and dad at least uh, so I got another this is the set I got him on just a little run coming out of this other side of this pond here and right there in that little choke point I've got a 330 set and on this little stick I got some beaver plus I know there's a bank den right on the other side of this I set last year I'll probably I may move this set in a couple days uh, into that run there's a there's kind of like a little junction of so I'll probably gang set that with two or three uh, con bears right there last year I had a beaver actually pull the con bear this is why you have to anchor them off pull the con bear up into the bank den and I, I really struggled uh, luckily I had it cabled off to pull the cable and get the beaver on the con bear out of the bank den so uh, always cable off your, your uh, traps because you'll lose them so anyway I've got this uh, Reset got some beaver plus in this little stick. Hopefully that'll draw them draw another one out here, and I'm trying to not um, Trying to not pull the water out of here right now Because um, it hasn't we've had lots of rain and the field is still flooded, but if I lose this water I'm not gonna be able to use it again. So I'm gonna pick off what I can uh, Sneaky using some snares trying to avoid the turtles and these kind of bears right on the edge of the pond And see if I can get them coming out of the field coming up into the field and once I've gotten everything I think I can get that way, then I'm going to probably use the Dunier panel system on the main dam. Lower the water, see if I can get some guys trying to fix the dam. Because uh, once you lose that water, you can't get it back. So I want to try to save that right now and pick off what I can being sneaky. So we'll come back to you. i got to put in a couple more snares. Okay, so what I've got here is a six-foot piece of rebar with a drowning rod. And... These snares, I'm kind of rushing them into service. I just made them this afternoon and put some Formula One dip on them. I'm not sure if it's completely dry, but it's better than nothing at all. I just need to get these things out here and get them in service. So, uh, anyway, so I've got a drowning rod. Basically, it's a vertical kill pole. I'm going to set this out here in this uh, drainage ditch. I've got a donut with some Beaver Plus on it. And uh, I'm going to set this snare and hopefully we'll get us a beaver. I had some good luck snaring in this drainage just last summer. So hopefully, now another thing too is I'm using a stainless steel link. This is a small link, but it's stainless steel, so it's got like holding power. Like Did five, it just go off? 550 pounds. Connected on this link, it ain't going nowhere. And this also keep, helps keep people from tampering with your stuff if you put it on there really tight with a, or you got to have a pair of pliers or something. People are less likely to mess with your stuff. There we go. Well, these are just a couple no weld, uh, no weld stops for a drowner. And I'm just using it vertically instead of into the bank. I'm just going to shove it down in the mud. It's probably about five or six feet out there, so hopefully I'm not over my head. I know I'll be over my waders, so I should have just worn water shoes and socks, but oh well, it's too late now. I'll dump out my waders in a minute. Smell this lure I have on this donut. Swim around and get caught. So hand me one of those sticks right there. channel in for when he's swimming around looking for this for this scent he'll come in here and get caught in this uh, snare and we'll have him in the morning so that is that there's one and if I can get out of here without losing my boot well, warm as bath water Okay, so we're just walking up in the morning checking our sets and it uh, looks like this 330 is missing. My dive, one of my dive logs is out in the water there and uh, the 330 is not there. You want to pull him up, Emmy? No. <laughs> she says she doesn't want to pull him up. 
there's something on there. Let's see what we got. There he is, Mr. Beaver. Again, not a real big one. That's probably a two-year-old. But that's what we're after. Get them out of here. So, good start to the day. Hopefully we got some more. Come back to you. Okay, well, another one of our conibear sets, and it looks like it's been popped off. So hopefully we don't have a turtle. Yeah, conibear's missing. It's back that way. I don't see it. Let's find our cable. There's our beaver. So he drug it all that way. They're all kind of small. Turtle's been eating on him. That's two for the morning. That's good. We'll come back and get him in a minute. We gotta go check the others. All right. Uh, Tail sticking out of the water, gotta love that. All right, come back to you. Okay, there's our beaver. That looks like the turtle's got to hold him a little bit. That looks like a two-year-old to me. So we'll get him out here and we'll go get our other one and come back to you. Okay, so uh, got a beaver last night here. Um, I'm using the Beaver Plus. So far, I've been, I guess, I'm going to give the credit to the Beaver Plus. Okay, so just going to do a remake on my set here. Real simple dive set. Put a little bit of smell good on this stick right here. That's all she wrote. Okay, so I'm coming here to check these snares in the morning, and I don't know if you can see it, but I'm missing a snare pole, which is I was afraid what was going to happen, and the other one, the snare is knocked off, so hopefully I can find this other snare pole. I know there's a beaver on it, though, because he's pulled the whole thing down. Now, hopefully we can find him pretty easily. i got to go in this water now again. That snare right there is undisturbed. So, 
I'll take you along the swamp with me and we'll go check, see what's going on. I got my, I got my sidearm on me in case the beaver happens to still be alive so we can put him down. Yeah, you see this spillway right here, this uh, crossover well used. Oh, that's chilly. that was going to happen. The drowner's gone on that one. I did not see my other pole. Now it's time to start fishing. on both of them. I don't know how that happened. How did that happen? He was on here. Two misses on the snare. That was not good. I wonder if I had it just too close to all this stuff he was pushing in if it got hung up with a bunch of, looks like he was fixing his dam last night. 